Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of newly released open models from Microsoft 53.5. We already have seen how to get them installed locally. As you can see on my channel, I already have covered them in these two videos, both the text instruct model and also the vision model in a very easy step by step instructions. But in this model, I am going to show you how you can install and fine tune this 53.5 mini instruct model by using free Google Colab and the tool which I am going to fine tune this model on a custom data set is called as Unsloth. Unsloth I have covered it in heaps of videos on the channel. If you don't know what that is, Unsloth is a simple tool to fine tune your models on your own custom data with 0% of accuracy loss and you just use quantized versions and you don't need much resources for it. So if you're looking to learn fine tuning, then I think this is a good tool. And if you don't know what fine tuning is, fine tuning is a way to train these base or um, pre-trained model on your own custom data. Fine tuning a large language model involves adjusting its pre-trained weights to a better um, performing a specific task or adapting to a new data set. This process allows the model to learn task specific knowledge, improve performance and adapt to a new domain. Fine tuning involves pre-training on a massive data set, preparing a task specific data set and then adjusting the model's weight to minimize the loss function. Various approaches exist including full fine tuning, frozen fine tuning, low resource fine tuning and transfer learning. But for us, we'll be using the LoRa technique, which is a low rank adaptation. It is a model adaptation technique used in transformer based models to fine tune the model's weights for specific tasks or data set without requiring significant amount of new training data. It works by adding low rank matrices to the original model's weights, enabling for efficient adaptation to the new task. LoRa is a lightweight and efficient alternative to full fine tuning and I have done various videos on it. Okay, so that's said and done. Let's go to my Google Colab and you can also access it by just going to um, Google Colab, which is colab.research.google.com. It's a free version available. Just go to runtime and then change runtime type and then select T4 GPU which is a free GPU from Google. I think all you need to do is to sign up with your Google account and you are all good to go. First up, let's install Unsloth and then also the Xformer, which includes a flash attention. So let's wait for it to get installed here. Both the prerequisites are done and it is going to take a bit of a time as you can see. Next up, let's download our model with the tokenizer and after importing the unsloth and other libraries and we are also setting the sequence length to 2048 and we are just loading it in 4 bit and by the way this is just a quantized version of uh, 53.5 let's wait for it to get downloaded i think the size is just over 2 gig yeah that's it so 2.26 gig let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is downloaded next let's define our LoRa configuration where you can see that we are just giving it the rank of 16 and these are the target modules within the model where we are uh, putting in the LoRa weights and then there is some LoRa alpha but there is no dropout no bias and then we are just putting in gradient checkpointing to unslot to improve memory consumption let me run it and I already have covered in detail in other videos as what this means so if you're interested check it out Okay, so that is already done which is awesome and now this is a time to get our data set and also specify the chat template as you know that all the models they have their own requirement of uh, prompt template so for this one we are using share gpt prompt template as you can see from this for 5.3 and then we are getting a data set from hugging face and you can of course replace it with your own data set if you like but make sure that your, that data set matches with this one so as long as that is correct you should be good let me also show you how this data set looks like so if you go here and press just type 
uh, some random text from the data set um, five values so you see that there is a user there is an assistant and then again user is asking the question so that is your share gpt 53 content if you want you can even go with your own template uh, creation something like this where you can just simply use unslot template and now that is done so we have our model we have our data set we have defined a chat template now let's define our training parameter so you see here we are simply using hugging face TL, trl library to initialize sft or supervised fine-tuning trainer and then we are specifying that this is our model tokenizer this is our data set and we are targeting text data field in uh, data field in that uh, data set and then we are not using packing here to make things faster and these are all the parameters of training as what sort of optimizer we are using we are using adamw and then we are just giving it 60 steps we are not specifying any epoch here to keep things faster and then these are some of the memory parameters and this is our learning scheduler type which is usual linear one and this is the uh, standard learning rate of the model so this is how model learns from the data set which we have given it so let me run it it is going to initialize it here shouldn't take too long let's wait for it that is almost done and that's good and now let's start our trainer let's wait for it to get warmed up And the training is about to start now it is at step one and then as it is going to progress through this training updating the weights making back propagation you will see that the training loss will keep coming down and you can see that the training is progressing and the steps are being followed this is going to take a bit of a time and you can also get the sense of eta here just around six minutes now while that happens let uh, also try to see what exactly these parameters mean um, so you see model is just a model 53.5 in this case this is our tokenizer and tokenizer is a tool that breaks down text into smaller units called as tokens to prepare it for input into the model and this is our data set which we are using to train the model that contains a text field and then um, we have max sequence length here which is primarily the maximum number of tokens allowed in a single input sequence to prevent overly long inputs and this is um, we have training configuration where we have data set and numproc this is the number of proc or processes used to load and pre-process data in a in parallel which can speed up training then we have packing false so which means whether to pack sequences of varying lengths into a single batch for faster training which can be beneficial for shorter sequences and then these are the all the training arguments here sorry yeah so these are all the training arguments so first one per device train batch this is the number of input sequences processed together as a single batch on each device which affects memory usage and training speed then we have gradient accumulation steps which is the number of steps for which gradients are accumulated before updating model weights which can help stabilize training and then uh, and gradient is basically it, this calculates the loss um, so for example model predicts something but the actual value is different so that that is gradient the the difference between the actual value and the model's predicted value and with as the fine tuning or training progresses this gradient starts coming down the loss decreases and then we have um, warm-up steps which is the number of steps during which the learning rate is linearly increased from a small value to the specified learning rate to prevent sudden changes and then max steps mean that number of training steps which we are just doing 60 so after this training will be stopped learning rate means that the initial rate at which model weights are updated during training which controls how quickly the model learns and then we have fp16 or pf16 which means that whether to use 16 bit floating point number for training which can reduce memory usage and speed up training okay and then logging this is just a frequency at which training progress is locked optim is for optimizer optimizer and that is basically uh, the optimizer algorithm used to update model weights based on gradients and in our case as i mentioned earlier it is adam w 
and optimizer is very crucial component of training as it determines how the model learns from the data and there are a lot of other optimizers too like adam sgd rms prop but adam w is the most uh, famous one and most uh, used one and it's quite good too and then we have a weight decay which is a regularization technique that adds a penalty term to the loss function and then lr scheduler type is is a learning rate scheduler to adjust the learning rate during training seed is just a random seed used to ensure reproducibility of training result um, and then output is where it is going to put our model on so this is primarily what it is now let's wait i think it is still running so let's wait for it to run here and then we'll see how it goes okay i think it is done now no it is still running sorry it's at step 42 so let's wait for it to complete all the 60 steps and then we will try to use our new model so the fine tuning is done and as you can see that the loss has come down a lot okay so next up let's go and see how this sorry let me put it here we just need to put it after that let's try to see how to use this model so i'm just you know uh, getting there unsloth library loading the new model and then just asking it continue the fibonacci sequence and then it is going to print out the output for us let's wait for it to print it there you go so this is the fibonacci sequence and of course you can replace it with your own data and finally if you want to save this model locally or push it to hugging face all you need to do is to run these commands the first two commands is for local saving the second two commands are to push the model to hugging face repo but of course in order to push it you would need to have a free write token from huggingface.co website so that's it guys really good stuff from unsloth as usual and really good model 5 3.5 i'm more than sure that this is going to be a huge success because in my previous video which i just mentioned we have seen that its quality is really amazing so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network and it helps a lot thanks for watching